Good morning, folks. We've got more news stories today than there are excuses for not finding dark matter. All of them, including plasma filaments dancing around the corona, will stand in line, however, behind the bright spot center disk on our star. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on the sun. We're not performing feats of great worry or fireworks, but we do indeed have action from the sunspot group. B-class flare range is now standard flux peak for the growing active region, and although it is on an intensification pathway with lots of sunspots in the line, there are no penumbra around those umbral cores. Even still, the magnetic setup is allowing for the smaller flares from right where the polarities are now getting the chance to crash together and mix. When we take a much closer look at the active region, we find the large-scale fields relatively stable connecting the lead and the tail, but below them, you should be able to see the interaction at the smaller scales. Eyes on her today. Meanwhile, the solar wind hit its plateau and then leveled off nicely. The peak was followed by a brief, lowest-level geomagnetic storm event which is waning back now with a stability found in the plasma stream. The next one could arrive any time from that now-departing opening on the right and would ignite storm conditions again if it hits today. That incoming coronal hole from the left will begin facing Earth tonight or tomorrow. Top weather event yesterday began in Turkey very slowly, still obviously a tornado, and at first locals watched it dodge their attempts to film it as it danced around the buildings. Once she found her groove, however, there was no mistaking it. Massive tornado in Turkey. Massive heat wave in Australia. I swear they'll play these tennis matches on the surface of the sun, but not in Australia right now. Meanwhile, one of the snowiest places in America broke their all-time monthly snow record, and we've still got a few days for them to add to the total, but celebrations would likely have to be delayed until the next Arctic wave goes by, set to destroy cold records across more than a dozen states. So folks, yesterday we were reminded that observations are worlds better than simulations and modeling. But a close second to observations is the lab. We know the physics are real there at least, and it's merely a matter of scale and translation to another scenario. And since whether it's an electric plasma nucleus or a black hole, these massive things do exist out there, and we now have confirmation from the lab, from the DOE, that it is electric currents twisting the magnetic fields of the sphere to create cosmic jets. Something tells me that's pretty close to reality. Hubble, showing that core splash galaxy we saw before a few weeks ago, and claiming it is ram pressure stripping as the galaxy falls into a cluster off screen to the right. The problem is that ram pressure stripping cannot just take place in the core, and in fact it would leave a much larger trail across the visible galaxy. And considering the breadth of the H-alpha emission, we can also say the material is not chaotically lost, but appears to be collimated, indicating it's part of the same electric current-driven action we just saw from the DOE. Got that, Hubble? Up next, we're looking again at the study showing iron dust around stars that have big booms. Sort of wanted to take a moment for an inside joke on the Catastrophe series watchers as the artist's impression here of what they're seeing is shockingly similar to how we'd model the recurrent Micronova ejecta. The electric current and magnetic field interaction through the center of a spiral can be found in sunspots too. You have to combine the AIA's 171, 211, and 335 to catch this on SDO, but the plasma truly does reveal an underlying coil to each individual sunspot system. Quickly dropping this into our space weather and human health folder, as the radiation component of the study on decreased immune function is something we should all be seeing in the future as cosmic rays take a surge in the wake of the coming grand solar minimum this century and continued magnetic pole reversal. In a huge claim by researchers out of the UK and New Zealand, they say it is decision time for mainstream science. They have cleverly deduced that there cannot be both primordial black holes, the way they see black holes, and also be wimp dark matter. Failure to find the gamma signatures of those interactions should likely lead to the end of the wimp paradigm. And so let's discuss a better one. A group of scientists took years, putting puzzle pieces together and on top of each other and every which way for one goal only, to recover the lost light in Hubble's deep field. Put it this way, no dark matter researcher has any incentive in this dimension to ever try to do this, because here is what they found. The colored galaxies, you should recognize, the black around them is the known matter associated with those galaxies. The gray around the black is the new light, recovered from the Hubble images, representing dust, plasma, gas, sparse, in a halo around the galaxies, right where the dark matter is supposed to be, and folks, again, that's all light from the normal matter. It's just been covert until now. 
Electric Universe, The Nova Panel, Earthquakes, Climate, Tickets for the Awake event of the year are on sale for only six more days at otf.sells.com. End of the road. Folks, it's very possible that episode 12 of Earth Catastrophe Cycle will get done and come out here later tonight. This one on the oceans and hopefully inspiring hope. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps followed by shots of our star to close and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.